This is a story of how government has developed a policy to improve the livelihood of Canadian cherry growers. The Okanagan Valley, located in the province of British Columbia, is the heart of Canada's cherry growing region. Since the introduction of plant breeders' rights in 1991, a special relationship has developed between cherry growers in the region and the Government of Canada. In the early 1990s, the British Columbia Fruit Growers Association partnered with the federal government and created a corporation to commercialize new cherry varieties developed from the region's public breeding program. Summerland Varieties Corporation came into existence to manage the commercialization and intellectual property rights of new cherry varieties entering the marketplace, both domestically and internationally. The Summerland breeding program, it's very important because to make money in this business, you have to sell a premium cherry. It has to be big, firm, juicy, and sweet. And the cherries that have come out of Summerland meet those requirements. So you can go into the marketplace, you can get a premium price, your customers are happy, consumers love to eat them. It's just a win-win-win. Canadian cherry growers are very supportive of their public cherry breeding program. Summerland Varieties Corporation uses plant breeders' rights to protect their investments in research and development, as well as support their competitiveness in international markets. Significant efforts have been placed on breeding late ripening cherry varieties to extend the production season. Some of the more recent releases of cherry varieties include Staccato and Centennial, which are popular with growers and buyers alike. One of the biggest competitive challenges in the past before plant breeders' rights was that new varieties would be developed here in British Columbia and they would go all over the world and they'd actually be used to compete against our BC growers. So our growers would be competing against varieties that they paid for to develop here and this would be similar harvest timing, except in the rest of the world they could plant them in a lot bigger areas and acreages. The biggest uh, change going forward in the future is some of the exciting varieties that have been developed here at the Summerland Research and Development Centre. And what they've done is they've actually developed varieties that harvest very early to very late. So they've been able to extend that harvest season so they can have varieties available from mid-June all the way into early September, which has really been a benefit to the Canadian growers and allowed for them to expand their acreages and support themselves. These cherry varieties are proving to be successful not only with growers in Canada, but also with growers internationally. Summerland Varieties Corporation manages all licensing agreements when Canadian bred cherry varieties are grown and sold in other countries. They do so in a way that ensures that Canadian growers are the first to benefit from new varieties entering the marketplace. When it comes to licensing, we provide Canadian growers and marketers with priority access. By strategically allocating production and marketing territories, we ensure that Canadian growers and marketers, who represent a very small portion of the international fruit market, have an even playing field on which to compete. We would not be able to do this without plant breeders' rights. The new cherry varieties released into the marketplace are being bred by the Canadian government's Summerland Research and Development Centre. In fact, 80% of the sweet cherry varieties grown worldwide can trace their lineage back to this breeding station. Summerland's cherry breeding program is one of the most successful cherry breeding programs in the world. <laughs> A vast majority of cherries grown across the world are Summerland varieties. Some of the new varieties that we develop have improved texture, they have improved fruit size, they have better stem quality, they have good storability, they have good shipability, uh, they have a, a good flavor, which are very important for the consumers. Plant Breeders' Rights Intellectual Property Protection is the foundation of this partnership between Canadian cherry growers and the Federal Government Breeding Programme. The revenue from royalties ensures a steady stream of income that can be reinvested in plant breeding, funding a continuous pipeline of new and improved varieties for Canadian growers moving into the future.
The ultimate goal of Summerland Variety in terms of supporting the domestic cherry growers as well as the cherry breeding program at Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada is to bring in enough royalties from both domestic um, growers and international growers that we can create a self-sustaining breeding program at Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada. Fifteen years ago, if you'd asked me how I feel about royalties, I wouldn't have been for it because you know you go out and plant 2,000 trees and then you have to pay let's say $2,500 in royalties I'd, I'd rather have that money in my pocket but now that I have more experience growing cherries uh, I, I'm very comfortable with it because I know that money is going back into the breeding program which is going to develop new cherry varieties that I can be successful with in the future. With plant breeders rights now uh, the first example of that would have been staccato. Staccato was released on a limited basis, it was protected. Um, the industry could control for the first time who grew those uh, cherries, where in what qua quantities, and what markets they could sell to. Um, and with that protection, uh, they generated revenues that came back to not only our program, but also programs that we partner with. So the, the benefits have been uh, excellent for both the local industry, as we can continue our program and continue to release new cultivars, and for our neighboring uh, research partners as well. Sweet cherries represent only a small proportion of Canada's total fruit production. Only 1,700 hectares of orchards are in cherry production. However, by using plant breeders' rights intellectual property protection, cherry growers, in cooperation with government, are able to create a system that finances breeding efforts and provides innovative new varieties which allow Canadian growers to be competitive in a global marketplace. So the premium markets are the export markets and the newest one is China. Uh, I mean it's what over a billion people, it's a growing economy, rising middle class and they love cherries and they see it as a valuable thing. Um, you know, here in Canada, especially in the Okanagan, people kind of take cherries for granted because we're used to them, right? And, but there's a catch. You have to have a really good product. It has to be big, firm, and sweet. And the summer land varieties, they are. If you do the job right in your orchard, you'll have those cherries and you can do very well exporting them into China. Now, because we are growing these great cherries from Summerland, you know, we have buyers wanting to buy Canadian cherries. So that's, that's huge. And the other side of it is um, the varieties are coming later now. Staccato, Staccato, Centennial, they're much later. And as a result, I can now provide my customers with cherries for four weeks compared to two weeks. So they're happy because now instead of dealing with, you know, three or four different farmers up and down the valley, they can deal just with me and I'm happy because I've now been able to extend my growing period and, and be more profitable, more successful.